We all have our days. We all have our moments where we get addicted. We get addicted to what we play, what we what we, we eat. But today, guys, I'm going to react in to other people's strange addictions. So no type of reaction video, it's like different, so let's get on with it. My name's Teresa. I'm 44 years old. I live in Bedford, Virginia. Pretty day today. And I'm addicted to eating rocks. What? This woman is addicted to eating rocks. Like, that's gonna break your teeth. That's gonna break your teeth. I don't think I would be able to function every day no, if I what? didn't eat some quantity of rock. What the Teresa frick? Teresa has been addicted to eating rocks for more than 20 years. She was initially attracted that to is the grim. smell. I was just out walking one day. I had no attention of biting into it or chewing it, but I did, and once I did that, I was hooked. Oh, my now what? Teresa can't go more than a few hours without eating rocks. Look how big that is! It's the grittiness of it. And the the grittiness of it, okay. By the way, I don't have a pop I don't have a problem by the way with people's addictions, but rocks. Why are eating rocks? Why why? My addiction is bleach. I love bleach a lot. I ain't gonna say I love more than I love myself, but I do. Okay, so <laughs> I did it to bleach. I don't consider myself a germaphobe. I'm not afraid of dirt. I'm not afraid. Okay, as long as she doesn't drink the bleach, that's fine. <laughs> I just like the feel of bleach. She just loves the feel of Every it. That's day, it. That's, that's it. She loves the feel of it. With bleach. She goes through more than 300 gallons every year. 300 <laughs> gallons. And damaged furniture. Fucking, that's but a lot. refuses to stop cleaning with it. Now I go and I wipe like my tables down, my stairwell down with the cleaning the bathroom with it, my toilets, my sink, <laughs> the tub in the kitchen. I Jesus Christ! Countertop, Did she? Did she? Her whole house is full of. Is it? She covered with bleach. Covered in bleach. Jesus. Okay. Gloria's addiction to bleach began seven years ago. But while why she is she pregnant? Pour it on her hand. Child. Why? When I was pregnant. I used to take pieces of tissue and dip, dip them in bleach and take them like pills. But my nutritionist and doctor, they, they made me stop doing it. And yeah, and I was just don't take it as pills, you'll kill, you'll, you'll die. That will kill her. Gloria's bleach addiction How is she still alive? Away, and she's even taken it a step further. Every morning, Gloria now adds How bleach she's still alive? to her bath water. Every time I take a shower and or a bath, I have to use bleach. I have to use it. You have to, or you just want I to. I first run the water, and then I take the bleach and I pour it in a tub. It's not a oh certain amount that God. I use. I just pour until I feel like it's enough. When I stay too long, my eyes have burned and my Look at her eyes! Tangled. Look how red her eyes are! Jesus Christ! That is scary. And my skin has tingles, so that lets me know that it's time to get out. Thank you. I'm 27 years old. And I'm in a serious relationship with my car. Morning, baby. What? What? Okay, I understand. People can fall in love with their car. Yes, they think, oh my god, my car is so cool, man. It's my baby. It's the most important thing to me. But falling in love with it, kissing it, like, no, that's not alright. <laughs> Get yourself a girlfriend. That he's named Chase. He's named he it Chase. Chase. In a resale lot about five years ago. <laughs> it's just so cringe. That is just so cringe. He literally just, he literally has, he has sex with his car. He has sex with his car. Literally, he sticks his dick in the exhaust pipes. Goes. I love you. Like what the bloody fuck. Okay, now back to yeah, back to the rocks. Several minerals, including granite. <sighs> she uses a hammer to break them up into bite-sized pieces. This is about the size I like it because um, it's not as hard to swallow. I would normally take a piece like this. That's massive. And normally just put it in my mouth or bite on it. How do you still have teeth? Don't tell me you swallowed that. Jesus Christ. Get the earthy taste off of it. 
get the earthy taste of it. Look, how do you taste not broken? My name is Heather. I'm 43, mom of two beautiful children. Okay. And I'm addicted to drinking paint. As it's going down your throat, it feels... Okay. Eating rocks? Yes, definitely a strange tradition. How do you still, how do you still have teeth? Bleach? Okay. But drinking paint? Uh, you know what? I, no, I think the rocks is the worst one. The rocks is generally the worst one. Very nice and warm, almost like a thicker version of warm milk. But obviously it's got that very strong chemical taste to it, which is perfect to me. <laughs> mm. Oh no, not ba not this guy again. You felt an instant connection. First developed as a teenager when he would build model cars, but he didn't find true love until he met Chase. I find this part of him the most sexy just because the subtle lines and curves. I'll give him a kiss here and just kind of caress him down the side. I don't know why I feel the way I do, but I just. Just stop kissing it. We such a good time together. Please. We, like <laughs> we have a favorite song. It's uh, can't fight this feeling. Or it's oh my you god. Get, you buy something for your fiance or your wife, and then usually for his birthday, I try to do something special for him too. The favorite day would be going to the lookout area. Just lean against him a little and just be with him mainly. I love you. This is so cringe. This is so cringe. Dates and presents. We have our times when we get sexual. It's like a good Handsome man. What? Don't do it. I love you, baby. No. What we do the most often is I like to no. do his fender and across his hood and uh, do little things like that. And, no. Uh, and this guy has sex with his car. He does. Honestly, he does. He touches up the wheels saying, oh, yeah, baby. Like, the, to him, the wheels are the nipples. Like, the, the perfectly round nipple shapes. They are the tits, basically. Nathaniel's so attached to Chase, he rarely lets anyone else drive him. Oh, my God. He lets Chase out of his sight for more than 24 <laughs> hours. Oh, my God. There have been times it brought tears to my eyes because I wasn't... What am I watching? His picture's on my desktop, so I see his face all the time. It really bothers me when he gets dinged or scratched. Today, Nathaniel has decided to reveal everything to his father. Oh, don't. No. No. He had something that he wanted to tell me. So I don't know exactly what it's about, but i like to know. You don't want to know what it's about. In his life. Yeah, there's something pretty important I want to talk to you about. All right. Um, I'm, uh, I'm just going to come out and say it, I guess. I'm in an uh, intimate relationship with Chase, um, sexually and emotionally. You're in an intimate relationship with your car. Yes. And sexually with your car. <laughs> yes. It's your car. Yes. How does I don't how does that work? Exactly. Sex with a car. Mainly it's just a lot of just rubbing up against him. Uh, how do you have sex with a car? Just rub it up against him. That's not how sex works. Okay. Um certain and it involves masturbating as well. <laughs> this guy masturbates in his car. Oh my god, I, I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> well that was reacting to Strange Addictions. If you guys want me to do more of these, then let me know in the comments below. Give this video and subscribe if you are new around here. Turn on the bell so I miss another video. Guys, all my social medias down below and I'll see you guys later.